Today is the 6th of July, 2011. I'm making a small video here of the EFII installation from Robert Paisley on my RV7A. Um, first I'll talk about the wiring. Uh, this is the major wire loom coming out of the cockpit or the cabin. And this thick bundle here actually goes down to the EGT and CHT probes. Comes through here. Also, there's a feed-in um, over here for the injector wires. That this wire right in here connects to these injector wires here and here. There's four wires two for these two injectors. And the CHT and EJT probe wires continue along the back of the engine mount and join the other CHT wires here and then go through this input through the firewall to the EIS system. So they have, Robert has two coils here. There's a coil for the top and a coil for the bottom which replace the magnetos. And from those coils come the uh, spark plug wires and you have these, mag these uh, plug wires replaced with regular spark plug wires with a 14 millimeter adapter and there's two plugs per cylinder, one on the bottom and one on the top. You can see the wires here leading to the bottom one, and here's the wires leading to the top ones. The main sensor for the engine is a Hall Effect uh, sensor that's plugged in in the back of the starter ring down over here. You can probably see just a bit of red down there. That picks up magnets that are embedded in the starter ring there's two crank position magnets and there's one sink magnet and the important wire here is this one coming over here it's secured with a tie wrap there goes through the top of the engine here down through this uh, clamp and through the top part of the firewall and back into the engine harness going over there to the EFI system and there's nothing much different on this side here's the two EFI wires here for the injectors and then we have the spark plug wires from the bottom cylinder and the top cylinders. There's four other sensors in here. There's a oil um, pressure sensor here. This goes to the EIS uh, from Grand Rapids and they also have I believe, oil temperature sensor here from Roberts. Um, also there's a throttle position sensor on the other side of the throttle body here and there's an air input temperature sensor there and here's a throttle lever hooked up to the, to the cabin throttle and uh, that's about all of the wiring we have here there's a couple more temperature sensors running around maybe a pressure sensor manifold uh, sensors inside the cockpit